Okay, my Buhai squad. So, what I have in this container right here that I'm holding is something that I truly love. Came to us last night and um, I've been keeping it nice and cool. Um, and I'm happy to show you this awesome thing now. Mambo High Squad, check out what's in this container. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Cheesecake. <laughs> OMG, cheesecake for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mambo High Squad, good morning. Mm -hmm. Cheesecake from Amare. Guys, this cheesecake from Amare is so good. Ate the strawberry one yesterday. This is the blueberry kind. I order it from Amare through um, Grab Delivery. The cheesecake from Amare is so much tastier than like my favorite cheesecake, which is Starbucks cheesecake. But mm -hmm. mm. Mm. hitting the spot. Cheesecake breakfast. Okay, guy. Sorry. It's not her waking time yet, but she's demanding to be woken up. We hey guys. Good morning. Good morning, birdie. <laughs> Most beautiful bird ever. Hi there. Good morning. <laughs> I'll make you breakfast. Ligaya is trying to <gasps> grab some of her breakfast from her foraging wheel. Love that she's using that. You go get those. Get those cardamom pods. Mm -hmm. She's mastered it now. She knows how to turn the wheel. All right, guys. So next positive affirmation for Sunday, February the 23rd. Let's see what today's is. I know you guys really look forward to these positive affirmations. All right, guys, say it with me now. In each of my relationships, both of us are happy, whole, and complete. Ooh, I love relationship. <laughs> you like that too, huh? I love relationship positive affirmations. Um, and this is not just love relationship, like a lover. It could be a relationship with a friend, a parent, you know, or family member, um, co-workers, anyone really, clients, whatnot. Both of you are happy, whole, and complete. There you go, guys. Say this throughout the day. Making breakfast for the bird. She flew on my shoulder. <laughs> All right, let's see what veggies we have today. All right, okay, so according to bird tricks, we need one orange food item, carrot. Yes, for you, guys. You deserve the best, the best, all right? You hear? Only the best. She's watching me make her breakfast. Guys, again, sorry for these repetitive vlogs. I know you guys hate when I apologize for this, but. Everyday life, you know what I'm saying? It's every day, bro. <laughs> I just said that. We got some squash. Yes, some raw squash. Also mixed with some boiled squash. She likes it boiled and she likes the raw form. All right. And then of course we got broccoli, which she loves. There you go. Some brocks for ya. There you go, guys. Of course we got some hot peppers. Because you like that too. Isn't it amazing that birds can eat hot peppers? The compound is called capsaicin. Capsaicin. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, that's what it is. Apparently, it's used to deter like insects and mammals because apparently if we eat the seeds, it kills the seeds. But birds, no. It passes right through them and through their poo. And it carries their seeds far away. Peppers love you birds. That's why you don't taste the spice that we do. The irony of it though is that we humans learn to love the spice. Ha! Take that pepper plant. We eat you for dinner. Okay, breakfast is served. I'm gonna add also a little bit of rice. The Gaia loves rice. Look at her. Rice! Want some rice? Here. Yes. Loves rice, this bird. And we're done. She's like, I wanna eat. Okay, let's go. Go ahead, step up. Good girl. Enjoy your breakfast, my dragon. Feast. Now I usually include sprouts in there, um, but I've currently run out. We, I need to buy. Um, and then I'll even sprout some beans, like mung beans, and she loves those. But I gotta restock. Look at her eating those peppers. She loves the hot peppers. Mmm. I'm steeping her parrot tea now. Yes, as I do every morning, or as I or Ate LC does every morning. And then, all right. Awesome. I'll be using these tea grinds for tomorrow as well. And 
There we go. Some fresh cold water. Done. Here you go, guys. There's your tea for when you're ready. And as well, a little bit of tea grinds. There you go. She loves the tea grinds as well. It's healthy for you. Go eat bird, nourish yourself. There's no excuse to not be healthy. You're on a great diet. Mm -hmm. I let the rest of the tea grind steep um, overnight. Well, through the whole day today and overnight. And I'll be using that tomorrow. So much of the stuff in my fridge belongs to the bird. Seriously. And ants, see? Gotta love living with animals, right? Love it! I think in the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse, RJ mentioned that animals will have their own fridge. <laughs> like we're just gonna get a separate fridge for the animals. Food products, medicine, whatever. RJ doesn't want to mix human stuff with our animal stuff apparently. Mm -hmm. All right guys, now I'm feeding crickets to my various beasts. Look at these crickets. If you have insectivorous pets like tarantulas and all of that, you can't be afraid of handling these things. Because a lot of these animals need fresh living insects. All right, some of my ants right now are eating. See them carrying that cricket inside? They're so excited. All right, look at these ants stuffing that cricket through that tube. <laughs> My diacama colony. Feast my ants. I'm about to stick a freshly squashed cricket in here. There you go. Check out this tarantula. Eating that cricket. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Yes. Feast my bubble heads. Feast. Feast. These uh, Fedoli ants are in a glassless terrarium. They just live in the pots here. And what keeps them from coming out is this tray down here, which is lined with baby powder, so they slip off. So they're pretty much trapped on these three islands. Yes. My green bottle blue tarantula just caught a cricket. Amazing. My gorgeous green tree python just caught a mouse. Also eating. I love this snake. Look at his skin. It's so gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous skin. So healthy. So Valentino swallows the mouse whole. This is a constrictor snake, so they basically squeeze it to death. It isn't able to breathe, the, the mouse, I should say. And then it swallows it, see? It's swallowing it whole now. There he goes. Constriction and swallowing. It's kind of scary. I never touch the snake. It doesn't have poison. I mean, it's not a venomous or deadly snake, but it is aggressive. <laughs> These snakes can be tamed, like you can hold them, but they're more of a display snake. For me, anyway. I, I prefer Valentino to be a display snake. Also, when he was young, when I received him, he came to me with upper respiratory illness, and I had to medicate him for like two weeks, which meant I had to catch him and like grab him by hand and, you know, like stick a uh, syringe in his mouth to give him the medicine. So he, I guess, became traumatized with human handling. I'm not the kind of handler that needs to handle my snakes. I'm totally okay with just providing him with the best life behind glass and just admiring his beauty. Mm -hmm. There's some pine shavings in there that we need to fish out that came with the mouse. <gasps> All right, frozen blood worms. Well, they've thawed out now. For the fish. Yes, feast, feast. Eat those frozen bloodworms! Go, go, go! Fish food is uh, not enough. Like, if you really want the colors of your fish to come out, you should feed them like other things, like frozen bloodworms. There's also, you can feed them brine shrimp. You can feed them living things like uh, water fleas, Daphnia, that kind of thing. And a lot of these fish have lasted years and years in this tank. Like, s some of these rainbow fish here, I've had them for at least three years. And all of these fish, except for a couple of the um, angel fish, have been here for over a year. Some of these autosynclus catfish, also years and years old. I'm surprised they last so long. Unless they've been breeding in here without me knowing. Not sure. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and feed the rest of my pets. Don't you just love life with pets? The best, the best. Can't wait for the Mabuhay Squad Farm.
Yes, out here getting some beautiful sunshine. By the guys, the sunlight is great for Ligaya's feathers. If there's one thing that I find is lacking in Ligaya's life, it's long-term exposure to the sun. Currently, my condo is... It gets some good sunlight through the windows, but wish I could have Ligaya spend more outdoor time, like hours, because I understand it's really good for her feathers. And African greys, get this, have this special gland on their body that releases this precursor to vitamin D, something like that. But the point is, sun is great for bird feathers, and Ligaya really needs it. I look forward to when we move to the Mubuhai Spot Farm house, which is being built now. She'll have hours and hours Hours to be in the sun if she wants. Yes. Hello hey, guys. And sun's good for people too. Really. Ligaya, I think you know where we're going next. It's her favorite guava tree. I think in the aviary we're going to plant a guava tree because she just loves it. The branches are perfect and she loves eating the leaves which are healthy. Here we are. Step up. Good girl. Step up. There you go. Now you can get some nice sun. She loves it. This is her favorite. And she looks great up there. I love seeing my bird in trees. Like where they belong, you know what I mean? It's just something about it. Birds and trees go together. I keep her leash properly tied here. So convenient, there's this little like nail that is uh, embedded in the tree. I just nicely wrap it, there's no way it can come off, see? Uh, you know, I feel so grateful to be living with animals. I find one of the reasons why RJ and I are kind of low stress, even though we work in stressful industries is, <laughs> Partially because we have animals all around us, like natural beauty of creatures and fish and all of that all around us that we can look at and de-stress. Little pieces of nature, terrariums, natural beauty in glass, you know what I'm saying? I'm also grateful that we have Ate Elsie. Um, and in the future, we'll be getting more staff to help take care of our growing animal family, right? Um, because there's no way I could have all these creatures without the help of Ate Elsie and helpers. OMG, look at how beautiful this bird is right here. It's a type of dove but it's so beautiful it's got blue on its face <laughs> our future puppy has been born omg that's gonna be so cute we're gonna take it in probably after uh we come back in may back from toronto because we gotta go there for uh for some concerts yeah that should be great guys out there what pets do you have for those of you who have a lot of pets how do you manage to do all the maintenance let us know in the comments I'm interested to read so guys look at how entrancing the fish tank is Wow Honestly, it's like a heaven right now. First of all, look at the water lettuce roots. Oh my gosh, did I not say they would become long and feathery? I don't know, they, it might look a bit creepy, but to me, I love the look. And then guys, look at java moss like crawling up the wood. That's new moss. And then you have the red ivy. See, they're so beautiful. The hydrocotyl tripartita, which by the way, is totally spreading. It's spreading slower than I thought it would, but it's okay. I'm happy that it's a slow growing plant because I think I might plant some others. Uh, some other plants here, but it is spreading. See, it sent out some runners there. That's a new patch. It's got like new patches here, a new patch down there. See, sending out new patches. And then look, look at this, guys. You'll love this. See all of that gaseous oxygen? Guys, the plant is breathing. Because, okay, going back to science class, of course, you know, plants go through photosynthesis, right? They absorb carbon dioxide, and then one of the um, byproducts of photosynthesis is oxygen. See? See those little tiny pearly strings of oxygen? And some of the oxygen form like these bubbles, which build up. Like, see that bubble right there? It builds up, and then it goes bloop all the way to the top. So beautiful, guys. I just love watching it. It's so entrancing. Isn't it, guys? Isn't that like hypnotic? 
all the plants are doing this. Like, look at all the bubbles on this plant, on this kabomba. There's the red kabomba, guys. Look at how gorgeous. Like, it's starting to close now because it's evening, but during the day, the kabomba is like fully open and just beautiful. And just the colors, guys. Like, they really, really go together well. And I can't get over all the bubbles rising up. It's just, I don't know. I'm so happy with how the tank's coming. The fish seem very happy as well with the water quality, with all these plants in there helping clean the water, right? And I look forward to it becoming much more more lush as time goes on I'm really gonna plant little tiny green plants here which will carpet the whole bottom hopefully like so that you can't see black Ooh, love it the fish tank guys OMG Mobile High Squad, check out what RJ and I discovered. Yeah. It's so cool. It's amazing. Mobile High Squad. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Mobile High Squad, check this out. <laughs>